Get the worksheet used in this lesson, as well as hundreds of others, at mathcation.com. In this video, we're going to do. In this video, we're going to work on some problems from our equations with variables on both sides worksheet. Let's jump to number one. So our first problem on our equations with variables on both sides worksheet gives us 4x minus 19 equals x plus 11. So the first step in solving this equation with variables on both sides is to get all the constants on one side together. So what we need to do is we need to add 19 here to this side, so plus 19, so that the constant on this side will go away and that we have the constants on the same side together or only on one side. After we add 19 here, the 19's cancel. We bring down the 4x on this side and we bring down the x on this side and then we're going to combine 11 plus 19 which is 30. Then the next step is we need to get the variable on the same side together. So in order to do that we need to subtract the x here. And the reason we're subtracting x is because we have to get the variables on the opposite side of the constant. If we subtracted 4x and put the 4x over here that wouldn't work because they would be on the same side of the equal sign. And we don't want to do that. We want to get the x or we want to get the variables on the opposite side of the equal sign. So after you subtract this x to get rid of this x here so this x goes away, we have 4x minus 1x, which is 3x, on this side, and then we have 30 on this side. This 3x is like saying 3 times x, so in order to get rid of this coefficient, you have to divide by 3, because the opposite of 3 times something is to divide that same number by 3. So we will divide this side by 3, the x, the 3's cancel, and you're left with just x on this side, and then 30 divided by 3 is 10. So our solution to our first equation with variables on both sides is x equals 10. Alright, so moving on to our next problem, which is number 2 on our equations with variables on both sides worksheet, we have 2x minus 3 equals 11x minus 21. So in this case, the first thing we need to do is we need to get the constants on the same side together. So in order to do that, I'm going to add 3 here so that the constant on this side of the equal sign will go away. We use positive 3 because this is minus 3. They will cancel and you're left with 2x on this side and then you bring down your 11x here and then negative 21 plus 3 is negative 18. The next step is to get rid of this 11x. So we have to subtract 11x here. And once again, the reason we're subtracting 11x is because we have to get the x's or the variables on one side of the equal sign and the constants on the other side of the equal sign. So we subtract 11x here. When you subtract 11x, these x's cancel. 2x minus 9x is, or I'm sorry, 2x minus 11x is negative 9x equals, and then you bring down your negative 18 on this side. The last step is to divide both sides by negative 9 because the coefficient is negative 9, so we have to cancel that out. So you divide this side by negative 9. The nines, the negative nines cancel, and you're left with on this side negative 18 divided by negative 9, which is positive 2. The last problem we're going to work on on our equations with variables on both sides worksheet is number 5. Number 5 gives us 3x minus 53 equals 5x plus 13. So the first step in solving this problem is to get all the constants on the same side together. So we're going to go ahead and add 53 here so that these guys will cancel. And you'll be left with 3x on this side and then you bring your 5x straight down and then 13 plus 53 is 66. 
So our next step is to get the variables on the opposite side of the constants. So we're going to subtract 5x here. The 5x is cancel, and you have 3x minus 5x, which is negative 2x, equals 66 on this side. Then your final step is to get rid of this negative 2. So we have to divide this side by negative 2. Whatever you do to one side, you do to the other. So we divide over here by negative 2. These guys cancel. You're left with just x equals 66 divided by negative 2, which is negative 33. So that is our solution to our last problem in our equations with variables on both sides worksheet. If you found this video helpful, make sure you drop a like, subscribe to our channel, or check out our website for more premium math content. Thanks for watching.